to cellular or not to cellular? That is the Apple Watch question. That doesn't quite roll off the tongue the same way Shakespeare wrote it, but that's the question. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. BMAC. And one of the questions I get the most amongst my friends and amongst you guys, my subscribers, with the Apple Watch actually has to do whether or not you should get the GPS and cellular version or just the GPS version. And speaking of which, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to refer to the GPS and cellular version of the Apple Watch as the cellular version of the Apple Watch. And I'm going to refer to the GPS only version of the Apple Watch as the GPS version of the Apple Watch for sanity's sake. Hopefully by the end of this video, you can decide for yourself whether or not the cellular version of the Apple Watch is right for you. That's what I'm gonna do today. Let's get to it. First up, and probably one of the most important decisions when deciding between the two Apple Watch versions has to do with price. How much of a price difference is there between the cellular and GPS version? Between the cellular and the GPS version, there's been about a $100 difference in the Series 3. It's that way for the Series 4. And if I'm a betting man, I would guess that it's gonna be the same for future Apple Watch generations. But something else you gotta keep in mind here is where you actually purchase your Apple Watch cellular from. If you purchase your Apple Watch cellular from a non-cellular store, such as Apple or Best Buy, chances are you could actually purchase the cellular version of that Apple Watch without actually having to activate the cellular before leaving the store. And that's important to remember because do not forget, if you get the cellular version of the Apple Watch, you should expect to have to pay around $10 more per month just to have cellular service on the thing. And building on that, that's why I always say take a good hard look at the fine print details of deals you might see from local cellular stores for the cellular version of the Apple Watch. Chances are that deal they're running actually requires you to sign a two-year contract committing to that $10 or whatever the price is per month to have that cellular connection on your Apple Watch cellular, which means you'll actually have to probably pay an early termination fee if you cancel that contract before the two years is up, on top of the likely activation fee you'll have to pay just to get the Thing up and running on your account. So in other words, it's really only a deal if you're dead set certain on getting a cellular version of the Apple Watch, which hopefully you'll decide whether or not you want based on the other features of the cellular version of the Apple Watch we're about to talk about in this video. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about why there's a difference in price between the cellular version of the Apple Watch and just the GPS version. First and foremost, kind of the obvious one, internet. Let's talk about internet. All Apple Watch cellular and GPS versions connect to the internet through Wi-Fi. They could also connect to your phone to receive data that way. But only the Apple Watch cellular version actually connects to a cellular network to get data without having to connect to your iPhone or Wi-Fi. So it's when your iPhone isn't nearby and when you don't have access to Wi-Fi that the cellular version of the Apple Watch actually comes in handy. That's when the Apple Watch cellular could connect to the internet and your Apple Watch GPS can. So now that we understand that, hopefully that makes things a little bit easier to understand when it comes to music on the Apple Watch. For music, both the cellular and GPS versions of the Apple Watch can stream Apple Music so long as you're connected to Wi-Fi or, again, your iPhone. But once again, if you don't have your iPhone nearby, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, only the Apple Watch cellular version is going to be able to connect to the internet to obviously stream your Apple Music. Building on that, both versions of the Apple Watch, cellular and GPS, actually allow you to store music locally but with a two gig limit. Pretty annoying if you ask me. I've actually voiced my pretty strong negative opinion of that limit on this channel in the past. Hopefully in the future, Apple removes that two gig limitation because it really is right now just a software limitation. They basically just remove that limit and boom, you can store more than two gigs of music on your Apple Watch. Because let's be honest, who really needs 16 gigs of space on the Apple Watch in order to store apps? I don't. If anything changes in regards to that two gigabyte local music storage limit, I'll be sure to write about it in the video description box of this video below. But for now, just keep in mind, Apple Watch Cellular or Apple Watch GPS both can store up to two gigs of local music locally. Next up, and this is an important one, battery. How long do these puppies actually last for? Once again, the battery capacity of your Apple Watch is gonna depend on your particular Apple Watch series model. But one thing is for certain, based on pretty much every test I've seen online, when you're using the cellular connection of your Apple Watch, you're gonna drain your battery a hell of a lot faster. In other words, pretty much every aspect of your Apple Watch usage, but especially talking or listening, is gonna drain the battery faster when you're on cellular as opposed to when you're connected to your iPhone or on Wi-Fi. Now, I'm not gonna get into the specifics of what this translates to literally in terms of the number of hours the battery is gonna last for on different models and different configurations. That's gonna to lead to way too many complex and confusing numbers. But this is an Apple Watch cellular versus Apple Watch GPS comparison, so just know when you're on cellular, 
you're gonna drain that battery a lot faster like substantially faster than if you were on iPhone or Wi-Fi. And then of course we gotta talk about aesthetics, design, material, right? Believe it or not, material availability actually depends on whether you're looking at the Apple Watch Cellular or Apple Watch GPS. And as of right now, the Apple Watch GPS version is only available with an aluminum casing. In other words, if you really like that stainless steel casing you could get on the Apple Watch, or if you're a fan of some of the other premium casings, you will have to shell out the extra bucks to get the cellular version of the Apple Watch just to have that material on the Apple Watch. Once again, kind of annoying. I wish I could get the stainless steel version of the Apple Watch without cellular, but that's not the case. If you want stainless steel or another premium material option on the Apple Watch, you're gonna have to get Apple Watch Cellular. So taking all this into consideration, here's my take on this debacle. Those are the specific differences between the Apple Watch Cellular and the Apple Watch GPS. But at the end of the day, those differences really don't matter. I think what you ultimately have to look at is how long you actually have your iPhone with you throughout the day. Like I previously mentioned, the only time you're actually gonna need a cellular connection on your Apple Watch is when your iPhone isn't nearby or when you don't have Wi-Fi available. Considering I have my iPhone with me, I'd say 90 plus plus percent of the day, that only leaves 10% max of the day that I actually would be having my Apple Watch without any kind of connection. Do I really wanna pay $100 more and $10 per month just to have a cellular connection on my Apple Watch for the 10% of the day I otherwise wouldn't have an internet connection on my watch? I'm gonna say no. I think for the typical Apple Watch user, you're gonna have your iPhone with you, or at least a connection to Wi-Fi, probably 90 plus percent of the day. But then again, there are situations in which I think it might be helpful to have a cellular connection on your Apple Watch. Maybe you have a job, which for the majority part of your day actually requires you not to have your iPhone nearby and you don't have Wi-Fi available but you still want to get data and internet connectivity on your Apple Watch on your wrist. Well in that particular situation maybe it would make sense to look at the cellular version of the Apple Watch. Or the other situation which I personally think is the most popular amongst Apple Watch cellular users is if you're a runner. If you're going for a run outside several times per week and you don't want to bring your iPhone with you obviously you're not gonna have that iPhone connection obviously you wouldn't have Wi-Fi either. If you're a runner and you run outside but you still really want a cellular connection on on your wrist, in that case, take a look at the Apple Watch Cellular. You'll probably benefit from it. But for all other situations, again, in my experience, which I think is the majority of situations, I'm not so sure the Apple Watch Cellular would be worth it. So unless I really want the stainless steel version or some other premium material version of the Apple Watch, or if I find myself outside of the house without my iPhone or Wi-Fi connection, I really don't think I'll ever be getting the cellular version of the Apple Watch. I'll save the 100 bucks, I'll save the 10 bucks per month, but that's just the way I'm looking at it. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts when it comes to the Apple Watch Cellular versus Apple Watch GPS battle. I do like to hear the different situations in which the cellular version of the Apple Watch would be helpful or how you guys are actually using it in your daily life. So comment down below your thoughts. I want to know. In the meantime, I'm going to get this playlist ready. I'm going to go hit that gym with that Wi-Fi connection. No cellular, Wi-Fi. I got that Wi-Fi hookup at the gym. Going to listen to some Apple music. I will see you guys in my next video. Ah, Pre-workout is flowing. Energy is up. It's going to be a good workout. I'm pumped up. Let's go. Ow. Kind of hurt. Thank you.